I'm here today with Harnett County School Superintendent Dr. Aaron Fleming. Dr. Fleming, thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Of course. So we are just right around the corner from the start of a new school year. What are you most excited about for this year? I think I'm the most excited that this can be a normal school opening. And while we're still living with some of the effects of the pandemic, we know that uh, it's been a few years since we've been able to uh, come back into school like we have. Uh, you really see the excitement in uh, the uh, staff face. You really see the excitement in parents and, and even students. They're ready to get back. Yeah, oh yeah. Is there anything new happening in Harnett County Schools this year that families can look forward to? Well, we're always adding new and additional programs uh, all across our elementary, middle, uh, and high schools. Uh, some things parents will notice uh, at their school is uh, that we've added additional security technology uh, with uh, RFID badge uh, tags. Uh, parents do have to uh, show their ID in order to enter the school. One of the things that uh, everyone in Harnett County will notice if you have a school child or not are cameras on the side of our buses. We're the first school district in North Carolina to offer a stop arm violation program on our school buses. Mm. Uh, we noticed that we've had a lot of stop arms and stop lights run on our buses and so we've uh, entered into this program and so we've received a lot of positive feedback on that and we're really excited to continue that this year. So that's probably the number one thing that parents will notice uh, when buses get back on the road. Yeah, very important safety measure Absolutely. to keep in mind. It is. I want to talk about staffing shortages. Yes. This is affecting districts across the nation. Where does your district stand for teacher vacancies, bus drivers and other staff, and how is that going to affect the upcoming school year? Yeah, we've done really well in uh, our teacher vacancies. We do have some, but we have uh, done real well in recruiting. Uh, most of our classrooms will have a teacher in it. What really keeps me up at night uh, are our support positions, our bus drivers, our cafeteria workers, custodians, and teacher assistants. Uh, we're very concerned with that. We have several of those vacancies still up. Uh, we know that there's a lot of competition for workforce out there right now, and uh, we're, we're a part of that. We know that uh, with pay and uh, benefits, uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of work to do in that area in order to catch up to some of the private industry that are hiring as well. And what incentives are you putting out there to try to fill some of these positions? Well, right now we're working on uh, a, a bonus for recruitment and retention. We did that last year with our COVID relief dollars uh, and we plan on continuing that this year. So that has received a lot of support uh, from our teachers, our board of education and others in the community. Uh, but also we're looking at our hourly rate uh, for these employees and finding a way uh, to boost them up. We've uh, raised up to $15 an hour. We're trying to see how much uh, higher we can go with that. But like everything, our fiscal resources are limited. Uh, that's something people hear a lot in public education. It's still true. Uh, but we are working hard to try to get uh, that salary and that wage up. And as far as the number of teacher vacancies, can you put a number on it at this point? Right now, we're right around 15 to 20 vacancies uh, across uh, all 29 of our schools. Um, we serve about uh, just shy of 20,000 students. So uh, while we don't like having that many, uh, it is uh, higher than normal, uh, but we're very fortunate compared uh, to some others. That is good to hear. I want to turn to the COVID-19 pandemic still very much with us. Do you feel Harnett County Schools are more equipped to or better equipped that is to handle um, potential COVID outbreaks in schools compared to this time last year? We really, we really do feel that way. We have, uh, again, used a lot of our COVID relief dollars to install air filters and filtration systems in all of our HVAC units across the entire school district and all of our buildings. Uh, we also are a little better prepared to handle when a student doesn't feel well. Uh, we have kept our uh, health rooms uh, in the school so we can isolate those students, not just in the event of a potential case for COVID, but that could go over for a flu or a stomach virus, whatever it may right. be. Uh, we've realized that uh, any type of illness for our students, we want to be able to reduce that. And so we're trying to take uh, some precautions in doing that. Anything families should keep in mind when it comes to COVID and if a child were to not be feeling well at school? Yeah, if your child does not feel well, please keep them home. Uh, we know uh, that parents don't want their students out. We don't want their students out. But uh, we're just super cautious. If, you're, if your student doesn't feel well, please keep your child home.
School safety, another topic on the minds of parents. We have seen tragic incidents involving school shootings really across the nation. How are you keeping students safe, teachers safe, staff in Harnett County Schools? Yeah, we're really excited because we have a school resource officer in every campus in Harnett County. And that was really a partnership between our Board of Education, uh, our county commissioners, as well as some funding from the state level. And mm -hmm. so we do have uh, a officer in every school. Something else we've done is we've installed RFID tags in all of our schools. Our, our faculty will be able to access the building with uh, their ID badge. All exterior doors will be locked. All interior doors will be locked. Uh, as we're building and renovating school campuses, we're adding that same technology into uh, the interior classroom doors as well. So that in the event of a lockdown, we can lock down the entire school at once. And then we're also working with our emergency services department in Harnett County uh, to really ramp up some of our code red drills uh, and different exercises that we are able, so that we're able uh, to respond uh, and we know what those actions are if we ever do need to respond. Right, all valuable information for families. Absolutely. Dr. Fleming, any final message of encouragement before school starts on Monday? Well, I know our parents uh, are excited to get their students back into school, our staff. Uh, I'm excited uh, to see Harnett County Schools full again. And uh, again, we're really looking forward to uh, getting back to normal, as everyone has uh, said time and time again. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Fleming, thanks so much for joining us. Best wishes this school year. Thank you so much. Of course.